I'm just gonna go take a nap in this bloody bed. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, son. You still gotta serve your eight years in the inactive ready reserve. We're putting you on bucket patrol. <laughs> I just had the most amazing dream. So, what are you doing here besides laying in a bed, Clegg? I lost my leg. They gave me a prosthetic, but I still need time to recover. That must suck. Yeah, I bet that kind of blows. Yeah. I keep thinking people are going to laugh at me. When they ship me home. Hey, can you take this letter to my wife? She must have gotten word that I've been hurt by now. Is she a Nelson? She must be so worried. We live in Good Springs. Easy Pete sometimes stays with us. Oh, really? He helps me keep my wife from the bottle. Anything you want us to tell her? Tell her I love her. I'm just going to walk up to his wife and just hand her the letter and go, I love you. (laughs) I kind of figured you would. (laughs) Greetings, Mrs. Clegg. How is it going? Oh, it goes. I have a letter for you from your husband. A letter from my husband? God. I don't know what I'm going to do. He won't be able to find easy work with one leg. He can work part-time as a pogo stick. (laughs) Or a scarecrow. Who who are you? Did I bring the letter to the right person? I'm Mrs. Clegg. (laughs) Thank you for answering that question, Mrs. Clegg. My boss has been trying to sell the work van for several months now. Mm -hmm. He got a new work van, but he didn't know what to do with the old one. He said he was going to try and sell it, but it had 300,000 miles on it. Oh, goodness. He said if he couldn't find a buyer before winter... Oh, God. Oh, boy. We got some uh, people here need to die first. He said if he couldn't sell it before winter, Mm -hmm. then he was going to send it to a scrapyard. Sell it to a scrapyard for the pittance that he would receive. What do you think happened in between then and now? You bought the van. No, I did not buy the work van. Oh, well you could. You could buy the work van and then live out of it. I could, but it's a disgusting old van that's probably going to fall apart in a couple of weeks. He sold it. He did not sell it for money. What did he sell it for? (laughs) I'll give you three guesses. A gun. Nope. Beer. Nope. Pot. (laughs) I'll give you three more guesses. I'll give you 300 more guesses because you'll never get. It's a pig. He sold the van what? for a pig. What? He, Who sells a van for a pig? He bought a piglet that's like 100 pounds. Oh, uh, okay. I got, I'm listening to a story about a pig. <laughs> he sold the van for a pig. He bought a pig because he's going to feed it until it's 300 pounds, and then he's going to slaughter it for the meat. <laughs> Can you tell we live in the rural part of our state? <laughs> I w- That's astonishing to me on I- infinite levels. <laughs> if you were to, to enlist in the military again, what job would you pick other than the one that you picked the first time? Uh, Probably medic of some sort. Think so? Yeah, I'd probably join the Navy and become a corpsman. Hmm. What do you think I would pick? Well, if you're not going to be a gun fixer guy, mm-hmm. you'd probably want a cushy job. Although, I think you'd be fond of being a mortarman. You'd probably enjoy doing Ooh, that. Oh, God, no. No? No. I, I think that if I was going to go in the military again, and I had to pick a different job, it would be either explosive ordnance disposal, so that I get to blow up things. Or... Or helicopter pilot. Okay, that'd be pretty cool. Or door gunner. If you didn't have to change jobs... Oh, did that hurt? Why don't you grin and bear it, you fucking pussy? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Rusty. Thank you, Rusty. You're just as foul mouthed as I remember you. That's why we love you. Yeah, I would probably go explosive if, ordnance disposal. If you didn't have to change jobs, would you stick with the one you had? Or would you want to try something new? I probably would want to try something new, because granted, I did learn a lot about firearms and how they work, but I also kind of feel like I probably would have learned that on my own, just screwing around with them. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't teach them stuff while you were in basic training. You knew so much. Whoa! I'm a big, brave grizzly. I'm a big, brave grizzly. (laughs) Psyching yourself up, Rusty? Don't worry, it was just one scorpion. Or two scorpions. Or a horde of scorpions. When we did the weapons familiarization in basic training, I was the only one that could figure out how to put a bunch of the guns back together. Eat shit and die, cocksuckers! So that's something. How's it going? I delivered the letter. Thank you. Did she say anything? (laughs) 
oh, oh, we have a difficult choice to make here. Do we tell him the truth that she's returned to the bottle? Or do we lie and try and cover that up? She said she loved you. All right. Here's some money. It's all I can spare. I can't express how much it means to me that you did this. You don't have to give me any money. Hey, and if you need any work, I'm sure the lieutenant could use you for something. So we're not going to tell him about his wife's alcoholism? No. Why are we not passing that information along? Seems pertinent. Then again, he wouldn't be able to do anything. It's not like Yeah, we don't want him worrying about something that he can't do anything about. Yeah. They'll be fine. They'll figure it out. They totally won't fight and end up murdering each other. Yeah, focus on yourself right now, Clegg. You're going to need all of the mental fortitude and physical strength to overpower your wife when she tries to stab you with the bottle. Treat yourself! How is everything with you, Corporal Clegg? Well, the doc is rationing Medex, so I'm in quite a bit of pain. Any chance you could see Lieutenant Cooper about requisitioning supplies? We could, but he's pretty stingy. Thank you. It'll help the whole camp. Have you heard any rumors recently? Any juicy tidbits. I heard that the CEO's son is dead. Yes, that's true. Anything else? I heard that someone was stealing medical supplies from the camp. That has been dealt with. Anything that we haven't done? I heard people talking about a party. Sergeant Mason was planning. Mm-hmm. You have my attention, Corporal Clegg. How's it going? What's this about a party? I heard the CO talking about seeing some Legion sneaking around just outside the camp at night. Pretty scary stuff. Especially because he said it was near the graveyard. I mean, damn. They can't even leave our dead alone. The graveyard, you say? We haven't done any quests in the graveyard. Graveyards are fun. Maybe we might be able to pick up the trail of those Legion soldiers. (gasps) Probably this. It's a dead bolt fly. (laughs) Don't think that's going to be what we're looking for. Oh, these soldiers are so stupid. These aren't Legion troops. They're bloat flies. Eh, how dumb can you get? I can tell a bloat fly from a Legion troop, and I'm not stupid. What? Did Did you hear that? No. No, thank you. Thank God this isn't a movie. Be- behind? I'm afraid. I don't want to look. Okay! <laughs> no. The zombies! The zombies have come to life! The dead are rising up from the graves! We're about to be murdered! Shotguns are the best for killing zombies! Oh, I should have brought mine. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> okay, that was... That was fun and different. <laughs> <laughs> no Legion soldiers! Do you still hear whispering or is that just me? I, I kind of hear the whispering still. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe I'm going crazy. I think I might just be going insane. I'm just going insane. That's all that's happening. I'm just going insane. I'm going insane. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's not even ask him if there's any more rumors. Let's go talk to the lieutenant. No more rumors. I don't need to know any more rumors. No, I've changed my mind. Let's talk to the lieutenant. We won't go quiet. Shut up. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant Cooper. What do you want? I'm busy. No, you're not. Uh, people are saying supplies are low and the medics is almost run out. So order some. I've already requisitioned supplies. The NCR just doesn't have the resources. I personally paid for the shipment of MedX, but it has yet to show up. If you want, you can head down to the New Vegas Medical Clinic and talk to the guy in charge of deliveries. Maybe he knows why it's taking so long. Are you the person we're here to talk to? He looks like the person we're supposed to talk to. Looks like a nerd. You wanna buy my pornos? (laughs) It's a side business I run, anywho. What'll it be? Mm? Gotta make a little money on the side. I'm here about a shipment of Medex that was never delivered to Forlorn Hope. Which is different from the other shipment that was never delivered to Camp Forlorn Hope. Also the, also the pornos, but put those in the usual spot. I'll pick them up later. I got baby making goodness. Spread them for Santa and hobo fiesta on me, but if you're sure. Wow. Hmm. That shipment was sent two days ago. Should have gotten it by now. Can you tell me where it is with the little GPS thingy that I know you have? The tracker says it's over by Vault 3. That explains the ruckus I heard when I went for a hussy break. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Vault 3 is where all the fiends are. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we're heading to the fiend vault. Come back if you need anything else. And remember... 
I've got them pornos if you need them. Yeah, I told you, just put them in the usual spot. I'll pick them up tomorrow. I am in a festive mood. What about that about the Christmas book? Oh my, that one seems fun. Yeah. Oh wow, I missed. Man, I'm just off my game today, huh? Maybe you should switch over to a different weapon you're more competent with, like a butter knife. How dare you? <laughs> You like the side of your own blood. Yes, yes, our blood is very beautiful. Get out of our way. My blood is beautiful. My blood is beautiful. My blood, my blood is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, at your face. At your face. Look at this guy. He thinks he's getting a gun. Oh, I knocked Rusty down. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. The song's copyrighted, so it's gotta get caught in the video. I get knocked down. Oh, this is a nice birthday hat. <laughs> what is <Chaos>? this? <laughs> oh, the shipment of Medex. Oh, it was on his person, was it? Chaos is obviously an anagram for something. Uh, or an initialism. Carnival are super old. Wow, that's Casso, not even close. Carnivals are old stuff. <laughs> Kick asses or scarves. Control, spelled with a K. Why is it everything you suggest is misspelled? <laughs> <laughs> I might be losing my mind. Yeah. I just slept like crap last night, so I'm running on like three hours of sleep right now. <laughs> now class, if you look at the shock board, you'll see this equation. <laughs> this equation is called several scratches put into the shock board that I did last night in a drunken stupor. Mm, you know what? Green chalk was a bad idea. I'm painting the new California flag. All right, I'm done. <laughs> what do you want? We brought you the medics, Lieutenant Cooper. Where was it? I found them with some fiends. Turns out it was intercepted almost immediately after they sent it. Well, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. But thank you for getting the supplies. We'll start distributing today. Everybody gets some medex, hooray! Woo, medex for everyone! Oh, you needed that medex for that party that you were talking about. Yeah! <laughs> well, let's just, let's just... You need some coffee, my friend. Too bad the coffee maker's broken. It's been broken for months. <laughs> no wonder it's far Lauren Hope. There ain't no damn coffee mugs. Someone keeps coming in here and throwing them <laughs> Why do you have so many coffee mugs in this tent? <laughs> Seriously. I just now realized as I'm throwing them on the floor that there are more coffee mugs in here than people by a factor of 10. <laughs> this is ridiculous. They did the whole thing about, uh, everyone that's here, sign up for the military to defend their country. You all sign on the dotted line to defend your country. And I raised my hand and said, nah, man, they didn't have that backpack at the recruiting station. I really wanted it. <laughs> I was doing push-ups for like 30 minutes for that. <laughs> I think it was worth it.